Hey guys, James here today and welcome to another house building video in Aluna Island. We are on lot number 53, also known as One Aluna Heights today. Building another sort of island styled home, of course, because all the houses and buildings on here are going to be island styled. I think that goes without saying. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the cliff lots around the back of the island. Uh, the, the first sort of cliff lot in the area. What I'm doing here is I've just put down a foundation. I want the foundation to be uh, sort of half the height of a wall, so two uh, two sets of foundation, if that makes sense. So it's, it's like eight stairs high, I guess would be a better way to do it. Anyways, doing this sort of uh, sloped driveway again, that it seems to be appearing in almost every build lately. I'm enjoying it, it works well. Uh, this one actually neatly sort of tucks underneath the house. It has a bit of a wonky connection to the road, but I mean, I thought it's it looks pretty smooth. It's like smooth enough to to be somewhat realistic in that sense, and it also it also works fine. But yeah, you can see I, I've I'm building a bit of the house over the top of it, so it's kind of tucked underneath there quite nicely, and that the house is up on the stilts in the area. Now, all the foundation, I I wanted it to be more like sort of like the I didn't really want it to look like a solid foundation. I wanted it to be sort of. Uh, wooden slats kind of thing, like as a sort of just a foundation wall, but of course you can't have see-through slats or anything, so I just use the texture later on. I'm actually doing a, a lower deck down out the back, and uh, which we've just actually done and moved on, uh, because obviously this is a cliff lot, so there isn't much garden space at all. In fact, there's none. There's no garden space unless you make garden space, and so I did that by making a sort of a little deck out the back that we could use. I was originally going to have stairs coming down from where the, the driveway is, but uh, I didn't think that made much sense because that meant you'd have direct access from the street to the back of the house. And I wanted the back to be a little bit more private. So then what I ended up doing is creating sort of a little exit from the, the uh, main area of the house coming down the side just there. And uh, eventually later on what I do is actually do stairs that go all the way down to the beach. So you can walk straight to, from your house to the beach instead of going to the road all the way around. Uh, so it's kind of like a nice quick access. Uh, just building the main part of the house. I wanted it to... Uh, be have a nice high pitched roof so we could fit it in an attic space and I eventually did get that around uh, like get that working how I wanted to but originally the roof was quite tall you can see now it's a little bit taller than it ends up being in uh, in the final product and the way I sort of fix that is I do uh, I lower it down and then I sort of build the walls inside and then the walls you can see on top I put like a secondary roof you'll you'll see how it comes or if you've already checked out the screenshot you'll know how it looks um, but yeah so I'm just kind of designing how I want the decks to look and all of that and how I want the roof to lay out because initially it didn't look I don't know I wasn't feeling how the roof looked initially and I, I didn't think it fit properly and here's where I was like adjusting the, the roof trying to get the walls in there because I wanted a decently sizable space for the attic uh, and I, the whole sort of attic level turns into the master suite or I guess the parents retreat really because it has the bedroom they have their own ensuite they have their own walk-in robe and they have their own little TV area up there, so it's quite it's quite a nice spacious area. And uh, we actually end up having uh, four bedrooms in total, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. So it's quite a nice family home. Uh, lots of uh, sort of TV areas. There's three TV areas, one on each floor, uh, which is quite a lot. Uh, but of course, you could replace one of them with more like skill building objects or something like that. It's kind of just like placeholder objects to go with. I uh, just recolored the driveway to have a more sort of a texture that matches the world a little bit better. Doing some landscaping around the house, getting that sort of nice rocky kind of cliff lot feel because of course this is all built on a cliff and it should feel like a cliff. Uh, recoloring those posts. I couldn't get uh, two of those posts for some reason. I just could not recolor them no matter what I did. In the end I actually just removed that bit of the, the foundation so you can't see it. Um, uh, yeah, so that that's also where I just found out that the driveway wasn't in fact long enough to fit a driveway piece on it So I just kind of uh, adjusted it a bit made it a little bit steeper just so we can actually fit uh, a proper driveway spot in there and Not have a problem at all. Uh, but yeah, you can see how the roof has actually turned out now. We've got those sort of uh, uh, Sort of roof pieces on there. I was gonna have large windows from the attic But I felt it didn't really make sense for the style of house. It wouldn't have like large modern windows anywhere and I was trying to find a window that fit in that little gap up the top. I wanted more traditional looking windows, but in the end I kind of went with those uh, small sort of thin windows at the top. But they actually surprisingly provide quite a nice amount of light. And they look pretty decent too. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I did end up using a lot of expansions and stuff packs in this. I think there's 19 of the packs used in total and I think there's like 20. Uh, so I think I didn't use one. 
uh, in the end. But, of course, as always, as long as your game is fully up to date, 99% of the time you should be able to download this and install it and it should work just fine. Because most of the time, uh, the, the content I use from the packs is it's just a random decorative item, so it shouldn't matter too much. On the rare occasion that it's another item that messes up completely, it's not hard to fix. But like I said, I will be making a base game version of this, as with all the other lots in Aluna Island. Uh, still still working on that and how I want to display it on the website and all that. So that will be coming. Again, I think I said this before, but I will make a video uh, once I've released the base game version. So you know, like, hey, here's the base game version of it. It will work with any game that you have. And it will look fine. Uh, but yeah, I'll update you guys on all that when that's all done. And I'll probably be... I th I think there's a few minor issues with the world itself left. So there might be another update coming soonish. It, again, it won't be a major change. Like, uh, version 2 wasn't a major change. We just had sort of a road change and an extra lot added. Uh, yeah, so it won't be a major change. It'll just be uh, fixing a few little issues or trying to fix a few issues. But again, there'll be a video on that when it happens. Uh, just figuring out the floor plan now, making sure the whole lot is flat, because when you mess around with constrained floor elevation, things have a tendency to be uneven and uh, are a little bit annoying from time to time. So uh, I was originally going to use those big windows. I mean, I did want to use really big windows because it's overlooking the ocean like and the beach. It's, it's such a fantastic view. I wanted to, to sort of take advantage of it. But in the end, for this style, like the, the style of house that you already see, it wouldn't fit large modern windows. It doesn't make any sense. So I've kind of used those like the they are large windows it's, uh, from University Life. Some of the some of the nicest windows in the game actually from University Life. Uh, we've just done a side door going out to the driveway area. So of course you can get to the house from there. You don't have to walk up to the main entrance. And we've got smaller windows on the side because I guess you don't really want a giant window looking onto your driveway. Uh, I was just trying to fix <laughs> those little stilted foundations again, but it would not let me. Uh, so I, I jumped into a bit of uh, landscaping here for the next little while because I didn't want to furnish a lot. Uh, I, was, I actually built this quite a number of days ago, and then I, I did all the furnishing today before recording this narration. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't in the mood to furnish for a little while, so kind of had to, had to leave it, came back to it, and got it done. And I think it turned out really nice in the end. It's got a really sort of sophisticated contemporary feel to it, I think, on the inside. Anyways, I really enjoy how it turned out, and I thought it looked awesome. Uh, we don't uh, we do not do the steps out the back for a while. Actually, I don't think I even show the steps. I think uh, the steps that go down to the beach were, because they were originally like an experiment. I didn't know if I was going to keep them or not, so I wasn't recording. But then I was like, yeah, these are pretty good. And I don't think I recorded me doing that. But it doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal. Just adding like two sets of stairs in. Uh, but yeah, getting the same sort of uh, island foliage going around the place with the little shrubs, flowers, and palm trees all over the place. Making it super lush, lots of rocks as well to tie in with all the landscaping. Uh, just decorating this wall out here as well. You'll notice the deck level is actually on the second level of the house, or I guess the main level. Uh, so you have to be like up a level to see the deck. It's kind of weird how it works, but it's all right. I mean, it's, it's totally playable. It's not an issue, really. Uh, just figuring out where I wanted to put the stairs in. Uh, they ended up going right there, and I stacked two sets of stairs on top of each other. So you go, you'll see where I put the second set of stairs in in just a minute. Uh, they go right underneath those ones, so they tuck in there nicely. So it's, it's quite a nice little spot, and it actually worked out quite well for the layout. Uh, all the bedrooms do have windows, even though you'll uh, one of the bedrooms only has like small windows onto the driveway, but. All the bedrooms at least have one window, so that's good. Uh, we're just doing the layout of the master bedroom up the top here, or I guess the master level of the house. Um, I've just put that bed in there to get a reference of kind of how the room is going to be laid out. Um, yeah, and I wasn't sure what I, how I wanted to do the layout, so... I don't know, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was kind of just messing around. But I think it worked out pretty well in the end. Um, we got two bedrooms down the bottom here that I'm doing now at the front of the house, or I get, well, technically the back, at the back of the house looking out over the ocean. Those would be some fantastic views from the bedrooms. I would like to have one of them myself. Uh, we have a large double door going out in the back there, and it only had like a one square entrance you can see there. So I'm trying to fix that now by getting a little bit of a larger entrance and a little bit, little bit more space anyways. And I think I make that, that other bedroom a little bit smaller as well, so that, again, the hallway is a little bit bigger. Yeah, I do. Because uh, that smaller bedroom ends up being like a kid's bedroom, then the one next door is like a teenager's. And then the other bedroom is kind of like, supposed to be like a young adult's bedroom that's in like university or something. 
because it's kind of more of a sort of, I don't know, classy slash sophisticated slash elegant kind of feel to it. Or at least that's what I feel like it, it has going for it. Um, just putting some lights, of course. I was playing around with the lights. I went with that sort of flame color on all the lights again. That that flame color, when you set up the lights, just gives it that really sort of, there it is, gives it that really warm, cozy feel, I think. Like, look at that. It has that sort of nice, sort of orangey, warm glow to it. Um, it is really, really warm. It just looks really warm, I guess, because, well, that's what the light is. It's a warm colored light. And I, I don't know. I think it, I think it fits really nicely, especially when you get all the objects in there, all the wallpapers, all the floors. It goes really nice. It complements everything really, really nicely in the end. I think it does mighty fine. I was contemplating not even having that sort of, because you see that I've got that little hallway at the top of the stairs uh, into the, the master bedroom, and then there's a door into the bedroom. Um, I was not going to even do that. I was going to have it all open on the top of the, the top of level, on, on the top level. But then I was like, well, if this was, let's say this is reality, and you had people down in the kitchen, or you had people in the main living area uh, where it's all floorboards, that sound would carry directly up the staircase into the master bedroom. So I was like, maybe you'd want a bit of a door there, just to sort of block a little bit of that sound. Anyways, that was kind of the reasoning behind that. Uh, so yeah, we've got these nice sort of uh, warm, orangey-coloured floorboards that I really like, actually. They go really nicely with that wall colour that's sort of it's kind of like a grey uh cream kind of color on the walls which i thought looked really nice i really love that kind of color there very nicely i was going to do a built-in fridge into the wall there that i was playing around with but it didn't really fit and wouldn't really make any sense uh and i was going to start off doing a more sort of uh, i don't know sort of I'm, I'm tending towards saying uh country feel but it's not a country house but if you know what i mean there's kind of sort of uh, older cabinets but then i thought i'd go with a more contemporary feel with this lot uh and it's not overly like modern or like super ultra modern or anything like that it's just a nice contemporary uh kind of feel to it and i was going to do that island counter there like you saw but it didn't really fit and didn't make any sense so i did this little I'd, i've done this before a few times have a table coming off of the uh the counters and i was actually going to use it as a proper dining table but then I was like, well, I have a dining area just next to it, so it doesn't really make any sense. So I kind of use it as like a faux bar area. I use like bar stools next to it. But of course, the bar stools aren't usable because it's not actually a bar uh, sort of table. They're just like a decorative little bar stools there. And I also tested out this house entirely to make sure everything was usable. Everything that should be usable is usable. Uh, like So like that door next to this... Uh, as seats are, is usable, even though it might look like the doors are kind of in the way. Oh, not the doors, the chairs are kind of in the way. It's all usable. I made sure that was the case. A lot of people ask where these shelves are from. They're from Into the Future. Uh, if you don't have Into the Future expansion pack and you love building houses, uh, it has some of the best objects just to use to decorate, and I use them a lot. Uh, specifically, those shelves. Are, because when you recolor the shelves and get rid of that backlighting, it's just a shelf. And you can put so many items on it. So it's really, really usable. And I would suggest getting into the future if you don't, because I use it a lot. Um, and and the, the, the annoying thing with it is if you don't have into the future, it replaces it with these giant uh, sort of... Um, it's like a pre-made shelf from the base game, and it looks absolutely atrocious, and it gets re uh, replaced. Um, but see, look, you can see me putting all these items on it. It looks really cool because you can just stack all these shelves together, put them all on top of each other. And then you have this really detailed area with all these separate objects on it. It's really, really cool. Uh, pretty simple kitchen. Just got the cooker there looking out over the ocean. I think that'd be so awesome, uh, to be working on your stove and looking out to the beach over the cliff. Uh, I don't know. That'd be so cool to see. I just, I don't know. I, I just love the views in this world. It'd be really, really cool to actually have a house like that. I just did a little mirror there for a little bit of decoration. I put that uh, that uh, pole there as well, just because I felt like it was a little bit, it, it just needed something in that corner or that little edge. Uh, and then I put that sort of um, spindly plant that I love to use going, wrapping around the pole. And I also get this question a lot about like where certain store items come from. Uh, but if you go to my website, for one, it tells you what every expansion I used and, and stuff pack. And then secondly, I... I did this kind of semi recently, a number of weeks ago now though. But uh, all the the sort of store content that I've used will show which sets it came from. Um, 
This is, it's not to say that you need the sets to download the house, because you don't. It's just, if you're wondering where a certain item came from, if you check out each of the sets that are listed, you'll, you'll be able to see where which item came from and that kind of stuff. And that, that spindly plant that I always use actually comes from a free, uh, sort of potted plant set. There's like three plants that come in it. And it's a free set, you can just go download if you don't have it, so I would suggest doing that. Uh, it will be linked on the download page for this house. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. I mean, I guess I could check it out now. I might as well. I'm going to go to my site right now and check out what it's called. And I'll tell you. Um, here it is. This one here. Right on the download page. It has like the, uh, the the thumbnail picture of it has the spindly plant in it, if you're, if you're wondering. It's called the Earth Day set. And it has like three potted plants in it. So you should get that if you don't. Nice and free. Uh, I didn't use too much store content in this house, actually, because there's, there's only a few sets listed. So that's good. Uh, like I said, though, I used a lot of uh, expansion and, and stuff packs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we've just done the dining area here. It actually took me such a long time to choose a dining table and dining chairs. I didn't know. Like, I, I was trying to get more of a, I don't know, a more beachy vibe. But then, uh, along with the kitchen and this dining area, that's pretty much the point I decided where I wanted this to be a sophisticated sort of interior. Uh, and that's why it's got that really nice, rich, dark wood table. And that, I, I really love that sort of grey textured rug as well. I thought that looked really, really nice. And then we use these sort of diesel stuff sofas, which are really weird in, in the sense that they don't seem to fit in many, many houses. <laughs> I don't know. They, they don't, the style is very specific on those sofas and they only fit in certain, I, don't, I guess, styles of build. But it, it fit in this one quite nicely and I really liked them and it, it made it the living area look really nice. And we've got that rich wood texture going through the coffee table and the TV unit as well. Uh, getting some nice potted plants in the corner and a little uh, sort of standing floor lamp as well to finish up the look, making it nice and full with little objects here and there. Uh, more, more often than not, a lot of the sort of expansion pack slash store content stuff actually comes like from potted plants <laughs> or like I said before, like decorative, decorative items. Most of the time, that's what it is. Um, so that, that's why you can, you can generally download it and there shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but of course it can sometimes mess up horribly. I uh, was just doing some random clutter items next to the sort of TV there. Like people have just dumped stuff there. I mean like, yeah, we'll, we'll clean it up later, mom. I promise. Yeah. And then it stays there for six to eight months before it ever gets touched again. Uh, just doing the main floor bathroom. That's sort of just like a, a sort of, I guess, public, oh, I say public bathroom, but I don't literally mean a public bathroom, but I mean like if you had people over, that's the bathroom they would use because the one upstairs is obviously the ensuite for the master bedroom and the one downstairs is really for all the bedrooms down there. That's kind of what it's for. Uh, just doing some alfresco dining out on the sort of balcony, right? It's right next to the kitchen. So you have quick access to it. You can have your breakfast out there looking over the ocean, which would be such a nice place to have breakfast. Uh, just getting some outdoor lighting because I remembered when I was out there, I was like, hey, we should get some lighting and a nice little lounge shed uh, there that I've placed, which is very much usable. Uh, this area here is actually becoming an office, which could, if you wanted to, which I probably would suggest doing, is sort of renovate it into a more of a skill building room. Maybe do like an easel in there or whatever other items you need. Uh, and you'll see that we did that rich wood texture on the, the uh, sort of desk there as well. I don't know. It's really... And I really like that uh, that texture. It turned out quite nicely, and it, it sort of was nice. Um, I don't know, nice feel that it gave. Uh, we did two little uh, armchairs in this room, just picking out the ones we want. Did like little wicker armchairs. Actually, I thought that looked really nice. Um, really getting into the wicker textures lately because of because of when I did the uh, Aluna Promenade, and I used uh, those sort of for the for the bar when we had that sort of wicker canopy kind of thing. Uh, I, I, re I, I like rediscovered the canopy textures because I almost never use them. Um, anyways, using this sort of island paradise bed, I think it is in the master bedroom there. Uh, we just put like a, uh, I think, is that a, yeah, it's just a table behind there. Uh, just because it, I felt like, well, there's nothing else you can put there. And I didn't, I didn't want to do anything tall that blocked the windows because then that would just block all the light. You wouldn't want to do that because that, that's the window that looks out over the ocean. So you'd be like, oh, I want that. Um, it's just a table there. I think I put a few items on the table and I had, had a bit of a, bit of a tough time choosing colors in here, I think as well. I changed the wall color as well because otherwise it, the whole house would just be the same color of wall. It gets a really sort of, I think it becomes like a pale blue kind of color, the walls. 
Um, and I, I made sure this upper level was really, really bright because uh, you'll note all the windows are up really high and it's an it's in the attic technically. So I was like, I want this to be really bright and it should feel really airy because it, it, it isn't. <laughs> it should feel airy because it isn't. Uh, so I made sure I make all the colors bright and light and very nice. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we're going to change the walls. That color, I don't know, I really like that color. It's like a subtle, it's kind of, it actually kind of looks like a subtle lilac kind of color on the walls. Um, I don't know, that, that's what it looks like to me anyways. I'm not sure, I'd have to double check that to be to be 100% certain. Uh, I was trying to get a mirror on that wall there. It was a nightmare because every mirror I put overlapped the window and I didn't want to get rid of the window because then it would make the outside look uneven in terms of windows and I don't like that. So I just got a window in the end that sort of overlapped the uh, I'm sorry, I got a mirror that overlapped the window that didn't look too bad. Uh, just doing some little decorative items here and there. I use a lot of hair dryers in this house. Uh, there's a hair dryer uh, in that master uh, bedroom ensuite, and there's also a hair dryer in their walk in closet. Then there's a hair dryer in the other bathroom downstairs, and then there's a hair dryer in the teen girl's bedroom. Uh, so that's a lot of hair dryers. I use that really colorful sort of zigzag pattern on that sort of flag thing on the wall uh, that just added a, a bunch of color um, to the house. I was going to, I wanted to use that, that second uh, TV unit that I just deleted, but it was a store item. I was like, oh, I don't want to use too much store content. I uh, was just getting this little square sort of framed thing there. Nice little light. I put another light in there because it, it had a little dark patch in the room. So I was like, I'll oh, chuck a light in there. Also, you can see that the room does actually, I think this upper level does actually really feel quite light and quite airy. Uh, and I really like the colors of it in the end. <laughs> having, clearly having a tough time picking an item to go there. Just got some random decorative item to put in the corner. Uh, put a few little pieces of furniture in this sort of, I don't know, little landing area so it wasn't blank. I use a lot of freestanding mirrors as well uh, in this place, <laughs> just, just to fill out corners and all that. Uh, not a bad thing, just, just something to note. Uh, doing the, the classic built-in wardrobe borrowed from, uh, uh, Deligracy when she did the, the apartment build with me. A lot of, you'll, you notice that I, I am spending so much more time on furnishing my builds lately, because like I said, when I did the first Aluna Island build, I really want this world to be sort of the cream of the crop. Like, I want it to be the best work I've done. I want every lot to be better than the last that I do. And I want all 60 lots, even the blank lots that have nothing on them. I want those blank lots to be better than any previous house I did. I know that makes no sense, but <laughs> that that's what I'm going for in this world. I really want the world to be the best that I can do. And that, that's what I'm trying to do anyways. At least that's what I think I'm achieving. And of course, that's going to take more time. But like I said, I am trying to do multiple builds a week. Uh... I, I was trying to aim for three a week before, but you know, some well, the thing is sometimes I can do like three builds in a couple of days, and other times I just I'm just like nah, I can't build right now. I it just no no inspiration. It, building it's really weird. Some days you're just like yeah, I can't wait to build. It's gonna be the best thing ever, and then you build the most amazing thing in about five minutes, and you're like oh my god, it's actually been five hours. Uh, <laughs> The time passes just really quickly. Then other times, it's just like you start building, you're like, nah, this is a pile of crap. And just delete it. Uh, and you'll know that like, in that I did have that building live stream that I posted. And that was one of the times when I was really struggling to sort of build something that I liked. And something that I thought fit the world. And it just didn't. Uh, but l lately, it's been going pretty well. And I th I'm... It's all right, but uh, I, I I really do want to pick up the pace, but the thing is you can't pick up the pace if you don't have the inspiration. It's just the way it works. So I can only do my best, and I really do want to do my best, and that's what I'm doing. At least that's what I think I'm doing. Um, just getting a little, some wall paintings. Wall paintings? <laughs> They're just paintings. They're not wall paintings. Getting some paintings up on the wall to sort of fill in the little decorative items. A little potted plant in the corner. A nice big mirror there on that big blank wall. Uh, yeah, so that's the lower level there with the, si uh, the sort of sitting area. I guess that would be for all the kids to go just watch TV, play video games, that kind of stuff in the hallway. Uh, there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of sort of unique spaces for everybody in this house. Uh, a lot of places for people to go. Because if it is a family house, you really would want each of your own spaces to sort of get away from each other from time to time. And I think that's what I've kind of achieved in this house. Had a lot of fun with this kid's bedroom, actually. Uh, it's... I, I guess it's a gender neutral room. I didn't really specifically design it for a boy or a girl. It's just it's just a kid's room, really. Um, 
put tons of like toys and and junk and everything around the room. So many things on the wall as well. You'll see it in the screenshots coming up in the end. Uh, just how just just how much stuff I put in there, what it looks like all together. But I think it's a really really fun room. Um, it's got so much stuff in it. I just got I just went into like the uh, sort by room function and then the kids category. Uh, then I went into toys and decorative and it just placed all this stuff everywhere. As you can see, I'm just going a bit crazy. You got that little duck thing under the bed. I wanted to put more things under the bed like that, but there wasn't really anything else that kind of fit under the bed. All the other toys were quite massive. Uh, so it was just kind of all over the place, really. Uh, that large wall piece there actually is one of the items that I've never seen before. It actually came in movie stuff, of all things. Uh, I think it was movie stuff anyways, and it was really cool. I really liked it, so I chucked that in. Uh, yeah, that's that bedroom done. This is going to be the uh, teen girl's bedroom. I guess, well, it's aimed at a teen girl. I guess it could be a, a child girl or a toddler girl, uh, if you really want it. <laughs> well, I guess it wouldn't be that hard to convert, really. Uh, it goes for a light. I changed the colors in a bit. It goes for like a, a light. Oh, yeah, this is actually another one of the rooms I was struggling with a bed. I think I spent ages on this bed just choosing colors. And then I, I end up, then I, then I just whipped out that sort of end table. I was like, oh my God, those colors are really nice. It's got that sort of, uh, white and light uh, green color and I really like those so I kind of went with that motif in the bedroom and it worked well I found that that pattern there actually that sort of fabric pattern that I thought was really cool it just had all these colors and all these different patterns on it I thought that looked really nice and really quite colorful to go in this room so I thought yeah I'm gonna use that it's pretty good um one of the things I'm, that that's one of the few things I'm spending a lot more time on lately just choosing patterns and fabrics that sort of look nice and I look different to what I used to do where, cause what I used to do in furnishing was just like, get an item, put it down. Yeah, that's good. Good job. Ace done. Uh, that's, that's because like I said before, I don't, I'm not a fan of furnishing. I don't like it. <laughs> um, but as, as, as I said before, I'm doing my best in this world. So that's what you're going to get. You're going to get the best, yeah, the best of both worlds. Hashtag Hannah Montana. Um, moving forward. Uh, I, I, that chair is so weird that because I, I was going to put that other wooden chair there first and I was like, hang on, because I wanted to put something on the chair. So I was trying to like clip um, coffee tables in between it to sort of make it look like it was on top because that didn't work. But then I remember that chair there, that plastic chair can actually place items on top of, which is really weird. And I, I wish more chairs could do that because that's really cool. It's weird and cool. It's weird for The Sims. But it's a really cool thing that you can do just with that one plastic chair that you can place stuff on top of. Uh, this is the sort of more, I guess, sophisticated kind of room that I went for. It has a lot of dark woods and sort of greys and I guess it's more of a masculine kind of room. Uh, well, speaking of which, that bed there is the exact same colours as my bed, which I did on purpose. Like I have a, that sort of dark wood bed and then the grey sort of striped sheet that you see there or uh, blanket that you see there. But yeah, looks like my bed. Uh, and I actually really like it. It looks really nice. Uh, in the game, that is. And it looks nice in real life, too. Uh, albeit a little bit messy, it is not currently made. Uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, so this is kind of like a young adult, uh, I guess, or a teenager who is looking to go to college, I guess. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit more grown up than the other two rooms. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what it was designed around. Uh, so we've got a desk uh, and a large sort of radio there. I actually have a few books around the place as well and a random box underneath. Um, one of the items that I did put in this room, I was like, I didn't want to put it just because it doesn't really make any sense, but I did because it made nice clutter. It was um, a stack of CDs, which was, there they are. It's like, who uses CDs? I don't, I don't know anyone. Like my, my dad used to have a giant collection of CDs and for the largest amount of time, he just kept them. But like, I mean, uh, he already had put them on iTunes or whatever on his computer years ago. So he had it all digitally. But he just kept all the CDs because it was like, well, yeah, CDs are good. Uh, then he eventually got rid of them all because he's like, well, yeah, CDs are stupid. Uh, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. I guess, I guess some people do have CDs. Maybe that, maybe that young adult is a uh, is a bit of a hipster and he doesn't want to go digital. He just, he just stays on the CDs, man. He's still, still repping the discman. Uh, yeah. He loves it. Uh, <laughs> anyways, doing all the outdoor furniture now to finish off the build. Got this large deck at the back. We do a barbecue area and an outside dining area. Of course, a little bin underneath the barbecue. And we do a very nice hot tub as well. How awesome would that be to spend your evenings in the hot tub overlooking the ocean as the sun sets? That would be amazing. Although, I don't know on what side of the island the sun sets. I really should take note of that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what side of the island the sun sets on or rises. Hopefully, it rises or sets on this side of the island because then it would look 
Absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, there's that little dining area there with little lemon colored chairs, two recliners to sit there and enjoy a, uh, a glass of champagne. And a nice hot tub. Oh yeah, there's, there's the stairs out the back that appeared at some point. Here are the screenshots. Uh, here's the front of the house with the car sunken underneath. Here's another little angle. Uh, here's around the side. I love that sort of deck area out the back. But yeah, that's really the only outside space on that large deck area there. Uh, lots of rocks and vegetation underneath the stairs, which I thought looked awesome. Uh, another shot of the back of the house. Here's a shot from the sort of table looking out over the ocean. And a shot from the a recliner chairs looking out. And one, that's just a nice angled up shot from the hot tub looking up. And another angled shot of the house there. And another one from the side. I don't know. I just really, I, I wanted to show off the exterior of this house as much as I could. So I took a lot of screenshots there. Around the side of the house again with the car and tucked away underneath. I like where that little car is parked, actually. I like that area. Here's the front porch. And I think we're going to jump inside here. Here we are on the inside of the house. That's this sort of foyer. That's the kitchen area, of course. There's our spindle plant around the column. Another little detail shot of the kitchen. Uh, and there's looking through to the dining area, to the lounge room. Looking from the dining area back into the kitchen there. Uh, I I really like the look of the interior here. I really I really love this level. This is my favorite part of the house. This sort of kitchen dining uh, lounge area. I think it looks really really cool. Uh, look at those windows. Look at the view. If you just look at the view and ignore the furniture, even that's just cool. Uh, that's the study area that we were talking about before with the little wicker chairs there. Uh, and there's one of the that's the main floor bathroom, aka the public bathroom, <laughs> as I as I said. Uh, this is the balcony outside of the kitchen area, actually, where you just walk out from the kitchen. This is the landing area on the upper level. Uh, this is, that's the entrance to the master bedroom there. There's the bed, obviously. Uh, and you'll notice the nice light colors all over the place. And, uh, yeah, looking good. There's that zigzaggy flag on the wall. Uh, that's their walk-in robe there. And there's like your large sort of decorative closet. And there's another hairdryer, and that's the actual usable set of drawers there next to a mirror. That's the ensuite bathroom, nice uh, bathtub there, and of course a shower for quick usage. Uh, this is the lower level with the other bedrooms, that's the sort of uh, lounge area with the TV, that's the outside there. Here's the kids' bedroom, just look at the amount of stuff in here. <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous, there's just stuff everywhere, all over the walls, so much stuff. But I guess that's a, that's a kid's room. That's what they have. <laughs> they have a lot of stuff. Uh, this is like the teen girl's bedroom kind of designed for anyways. Uh, nice view out of the windows, of course. Nice big wardrobe over there. Little alarm clock on the side table. This is the young adult or I guess uni student, if you prefer. Uh, he has an unfortunate room, really, because he has really small windows, which kind of sucks. But yes, anyways, coming into the last screenshots here now, into the floor plans very shortly. But thank you for watching this uh, house building video. Download link in the description below. I will see you next time, and I hope you have an awesome day, and I hope you enjoyed the build as well. But that's it. See ya.